If we say, what would you like for breakfast? And the child says, pancakes. And then the parent says, oh, we don't have time for pancakes. Then again, the child might protest. However, with a limited choice, the parent gets to set some limits. If the parent knows there isn't time for pancakes, he or she could say, would you like cereal or toast? Or what kind of cereal would you like? And then the child chooses from those two options. This way, everyone is happy. Another example where this is very useful is, for instance, when the child is getting dressed. And, and again, it's good for kids to be able to have some choice. But if they go into their room and they pick out summer clothes when it's winter time, then the parent has to say, no, you have to change your clothes, and it could cause a conflict with the child. However, if the parent picks out two outfits that are weather appropriate and says, you can pick between these outfits, or if the parent says, do you want the red one or the blue one, the child can choose, and everyone is happy. It is good for children to have an opportunity to make choices. This is a way for, for kids to develop that skill of making choices, but by having the limits, the choices they make work for everyone in the family.